Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And listen. Oh, you're a sweetheart. I appreciate that. Um, listen, uh, this is, uh, this is a, a night that uh, we saw a lot of things happen in Kentucky. We saw what looks like it could be a record turnout uh, for a U.S. Senate race and for a president's race. And, you know, more than nine months ago, I entered this race with a pledge that I would unite Kentucky Democrats and independents and Republicans who wanted to change Washington. But while it looks like we'll receive more votes, maybe, than any Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate in Kentucky history, we're going to fall just short. And um, it isn't because everybody didn't work hard enough. It isn't because I didn't make enough friends for me for a lifetime. And it isn't because people didn't give it everything they had. They, they did. Everybody gave it everything they had. And I'll never forget it. It's one of the things. And, you know, we started this race, and many of you know me for the thoroughbred industry for years, we were a 50 to 1 shot. And there weren't many people that gave us a chance. But together we did make it a race down the stretch. And we did do some things, I think, that helped the Democratic Party across the state of Kentucky and across this country. But we didn't quite get there. And I'm disappointed. But I'm not disappointed for me. I'm disappointed because there were some big things that I think a lot of us wanted to accomplish for Kentuckians. And I'm disappointed for my staff who worked tirelessly for months and for the thousands of volunteers and supporters who helped get us this close. As I said before, this has been a journey of a lifetime and I've worked this Commonwealth from Pikeville to Paducah in parades and met thousands of incredible people. And I've been honored to have support of loyal Democrat activists and officials who have never supported me before. County judges, sheriffs, former governors, which I'll never forget, and organized labor, which worked every corner of this state for me. And volunteers and donors who contributed their time and effort to what I thought was a noble cause to get the country back on track, and I believe they thought it was a noble cause. I thank you all. I cannot tell you how much this support means to me. And you know, we were 18 points behind, and we did get outspent. And we did have $20 million that was spent against us. But everybody made things happen because of how hard they worked. And I want to thank all the staff and all the volunteers for that hard work. And I also want to thank my family and my friends who supported me even back in those dark days in February when nobody gave us a single shot. And a few minutes ago, I called and spoke with Senator McConnell to congratulate him on winning a fifth term. No, 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 no. That's not, we're not doing that, okay? He, 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 fought, he was a formidable opponent, and he did what was necessary to win this race. But these are tough times. And despite what we believe has brought America to this point of recession and debt, this is a time to urge all our representatives in Washington to do better. This is the time for our country to come together behind a new administration and new Congress and get America back on track. And one thing out of this race, I hope, and I urge that Senator McConnell work hand in hand with the Democratic majority in the U.S. Senate and the Obama administration to help correct the problems brought on the past eight years. This is not a time for partisanship or obstructionism. 
This is a time for all elected officials to unite and work together to help people who are hurting, people who are worried about losing their jobs, their retirement accounts that have lost billions, and their health care costs that keep going up. The middle class of this country is being squeezed from all sides, but Washington can help, and I urge them to do that. These are serious challenges, and I hope that Senator McConnell will go outside the box and to listen to more than the hundreds of thousands of Kentuckians who demanded change and to use the leadership and clout he ran on to steer the Republican Party in a different direction, one that realizes we build our economy from the bottom up, not the top down. And if, and if Senator McConnell is willing, and I believe he will be, to move the Republican Party in that direction, I know Kentuckians will be behind him 100 percent because those are Kentucky values. The next six years must not be like the last six. As for me, I will remain active and involved in projects to further agendas of change that I campaigned on and to help rebuild our economy from the bottom up. This has been the journey of a lifetime for me, and I want to congratulate all those Democrats who won big victories tonight, including my old friend John Yarmouth. And I want to thank you again to all of you who have helped me so much over this past year. And let's continue to work together to bring America back. Thank you very much. Thank you.